Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be discussing the paging technique with TLB. So the difference between uh, this particular topic that is paging with TLB and the previous session topic that is just paging concept. Okay, you will come to know once you learn this particular technique. Most students who are watching this session are first instructed to watch the my previous session which is the basic concept of paging so that you can understand easily this concept paging with TLB. Now, to start with this particular concept, first let me tell you in the previous concept we ended with what point we, we, we saw that this particular paging technique is making us to create a page table wherein we store in these pages are stored in which frame numbers that information is kept in the page table. Now if that is the case, suppose see in the previous page table stores what all the frame numbers in which frame these pages are stored. This page table is stored in the main memory. So and that means first the CPU has to access the main memory in order to fetch the frame number. Then once it fetches the frame number, it has to access the main memory again to fetch the instruction. So main memory access is done twice here. For the first time to access the page table, second time to access the instruction. So this way, no doubt we are trying to uh, make accommodate this non-contiguous memory allocation method. But once again, we are indirectly what leading to a greater access time. So in order to overcome this problem, we can go with another technique called as paging hardware with TLB. TLB stands for translation look aside buffer. So what exactly it is, it is a special small fast lookup hardware cache. So what it is, it is a special small fast lookup hardware cache and it is associative high speed memory. So this TLB is completely what it is an associative type of memory, high speed memory, wherein it can also store the information like a page table. But the difference between what page table is having more number of entries, okay, but this size for the TLB is very small. So it will hold less number of entries, lesser the number of entries in a particular cache, faster is the access. This is what we have learnt in the previous sessions also. So how you are going to access or how you are going to improve this access time? That means you want to reduce the access time by using the TLB. And where exactly is the TLB placed? This is the diagram that is given in the textbook. But to understand this diagram, uh, first you have to learn the previous session topic. That means you go through the previous session wherein I have explained the basic concept of paging. paging. So here is what, here is the page table. Fine. So as I said earlier, the CPU has to access the main memory twice because first time it has to access in the previous one, uh, previous session I told you that CPU will access the page main memory to access the page table. Second time it will access the main memory to fetch the instruction or to access the instruction. Now that particular thing we are trying to eliminate here in the next concept called as paging with paging hardware with TLB. So how exactly are the different components placed in this concept on this diagram? I'll be explaining to you. Let me focus. So as always CPU uh, generates what the logical address, the logical address consists of page number and the offset, okay, page number and the offset value. So what what is being done here is whatever are the entries in the page table, the most frequently uh, accessed locations that information is stored in the TLB. So how very first time what will happen is any point of time first okay I'll just show you here. So there is slight mistake in the diagram. This page number will point to what to a location in the this particular page number will point to a particular location in the page table. So CPU generates the logical address. Logical address consists of page number and the displacement. The page number normally what the CPU has uh, has to what access the main memory, access the page table in order to fetch the frame number. Once it finds a particular frame number, then what uh, that that particular uh, information is shifted or it is placed in the TLB. The reason is what because see what is happening is suppose if there is a particular page page 1, page 1 consists of instruction 1, instruction 2, instruction 3, 
instruction 4 like this let us assume that it contains 100 instructions fine page 1 consists of 100 instructions let us assume now whenever the logical address is getting generated suppose for page 1 then what it is done page 1 partic that particular page or you take some other page instead of taking the first page number you take suppose page number uh, 12 page number 12 is searched here if the logical address generates page number 12 page number 12 is searched in the page table if it is searched in the page table for what it is searched it is searched for a particular instruction in that page 12 suppose if it is instruction so it is executing all the instructions of page 12 so once it executes the instruction i1 of page 12 the very next time what it will do it wants to execute the instruction of uh, the next instruction of page 12 only that is i2 then followed by i3 so once it searches for this instruction i1 it has to search that page table and then find out what the frame number in which this particular instruction is stored fine in this particular uh, in which this particular page is stored similarly next time when the cpu executes the instruction i i2 it is also what belonging to page 12 only but the process gets repeated once again it has to search what page 12 in the page table find what the corresponding frame number so that it can uh, what fetch the instruction i2 from that particular page then this procedure will get repeated so here exactly what is happening now out of like for all these 100 instructions belonging to page 12 what is done here is where is the instruction i1 of page 12 i1 present it is present in the page 12 where is the instruction i2 present it is present in the page 12 where is the instruction i3 present it is present in page 12 so why i am telling i1 i2 i3 in sequences normally that is what in a program also all the instructions that are there in the program the cpu executes one after the other hardly there are few uh, cases wherein a instruction will directly jump to some other instruction whenever you use the go to statement in the program or the jump statement then only it goes to some other location otherwise the chances are what 99 percent the chances are the instructions of a program get executed in a sequence only i1 i2 i3 i4 of that particular page but for every instruction belonging to the same page this process has to be carried out so instead what it will do is whenever it sees okay all the instructions are belonging to page 12 that particular information is stored in the uh, tlb so suppose if it was looking for uh, frame number uh, page this one page 12 then in this tlb page 12 information will come and earlier let us assume that it was frame 5 then frame 5 will be included here in the tlb like this next time when it wants to uh, when it is taking a uh, page 20 then page 20 will come here next time if the logical address is generating page 33 page 33 that means unless this tlb gets filled up whichever are the most frequently used pages all those pages get resided in the tlb and tlb is having what a very faster access it is a associative high speed cache so what it will happen associative is what see in this particular page table the search is in sequence one after the other whereas the tlb you can see the arrow direction at once that means at at a time the search is made for all this for that particular page number so within within no time that particular page number is searched from the tlb for example i can tell you if 20 nanoseconds are used to search a page number in the tlb it may take 80 nanoseconds to search the same page number in the page table so that much time we are saving that's the reason first all these pages will get filled up here in the tlb that's the reason whenever the cpu generates the logical address first it is going to search what it is going to search in the tlb fine if it is not there so if there is a tlb miss i can write here tlb miss that means if that page number is not found found in this uh, tlb then it will search in the page table hope you are getting my point first it searches in the tlb if it finds very good access time is less so we say there is a tlb hit that page number was found in tlb page number is what in from that particular page number you get the frame number so this is what i am pointing here the frame number the displacement value comes from this logical address it is the same here that means offset will always be same here in the physical address so this frame number and the offset will point to a uh, particular instruction in the main memory so to fetch that instruction you have carried out this process 
okay fine now imagine suppose if you don't find that particular page in the page num uh, in the tlb we call it as tlb miss fine here i have written tlb miss then it is searched in the page table once that particular entry is found in the page table then that frame number okay is uh, added to the offset of what the logical address and then the physical address gets generated so in this way we are trying to what we are trying to reduce the access time which was more in the previous concept just the paging technique now but here also in paging with tlb there is one disadvantage the reason is see all these particular uh, pages belong to one process let us assume process p1 which was getting executed by cpu so for that particular process only page table is always for a process suppose if this page table is for process p1 then the tlb also contains what pages of process p1 only once you fill up this tlb completely for that process that means whichever pages you have frequently accessed those entries are filled up in the tlb later suppose you know that context switch happens that means the process p1 which was getting executed is what deallocated from the cpu and process p2 is assigned to cpu then what happens the complete tlb has to get flushed out so that is how we say that there is an overhead occurring here whenever there is a context switch app happening already you have spent so much of time in filling all the what frequently accessed pages of a process p1 in the tlb once you feel that yes everything is going to become now very fast suddenly context switch happens and then what you have to do is the next for the next process that means when earlier p1 was getting executed for p2 once again the pages of p2 will get what started getting loaded into the tlb as and when it is referred so this is what is the concept for the tlb since this is a hardware also this tlb it is expensive so let us see one numerical on this particular concept wherein we'll try to find out the effective access time if tlb is used to access a particular page hope this session is useful to you all so if you like this session please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care